My name is Dr. Jeffrey Carlson from the Orthopedic and Spine Center. I'm a spine surgeon here. And I get questions from patients about smoking and spine surgery. We've always asked our patients to stop smoking around the time of the spine surgery and a couple of issues that go into that. Smoking itself, of course, is a way uh, for the lungs to get clogged up, so having uh, extra uh, smoke in your lungs uh, can affect the tissue in the lungs itself and make it hard to breathe. Generally, if you stop smoking about three months prior to the surgery, then your lungs can clear out prior to surgery. If you stop smoking too close to the time of the surgery, the, the tissues, the bronchioles, will react and you may get a lot of phlegm, a lot of irritation in the bronchioles and may not be able to have a surgery. After surgery, smoking affects healing. As you can imagine, smoke that's in your lungs decreases the amount of oxygen that gets to your blood vessels and into your bloodstream, so it decreases the ability for your body to heal. There are some relations between the body healing and the amount of oxygen in your bloodstream. Smoking itself also slows down bone healing. So if we're trying to fuse bones together, in the spine fusion, the cervical spine, the lumbar spine, getting bones to heal together, smoking slows that down. So we don't want to have anything interrupting the time for your body to heal. So if we can stop smoking uh, several weeks before surgery, stop smoking at least three months after surgery, will increase your ability to heal and increase your success in uh, fusing your spine.